Kamovka 52, Alligator, a technical and operational anatomy of the Russian war machine. Introduction, a design philosophy beyond conventional technology. On the modern battlefield, attack helicopters are among the most feared threats to infantry and one of the most effective tools against armored units. In this domain, against Western designs like the AH-64 Apache and the Tiger, the Soviet Union and its successor, the Russian Federation, have developed unique, radical, and highly specialized helicopters, the Kamovka 50 Black Shark and its two-seat derivative, the Ka-52 Alligator, are the embodiment of this philosophy. The Ka-52 is not merely a weapons platform, but an answer to the deep operational and tactical needs of Russian military doctrine. This analysis aims to examine the Ka-52 beyond mere technical specifications, investigating its design logic, combat capabilities, strengths, and, in light of recent conflicts in Ukraine, its vulnerabilities, with the rigor of a defense industry researcher. Chapter 1. Origins and Design Doctrine The story of the Ka-52 begins in the late 1970s with the Soviet Army's requirement for a new generation attack helicopter to replace the Mi-24, Hind. This new helicopter was expected to have superior agility, lethality, and survivability. Kamov, rejecting conventional designs, proposed its signature feature, the coaxial twin rotor system, the revolutionary advantages of the coaxial rotor, a conventional helicopter's tail rotor consumes one, zero, one, five percent of engine power to counteract the torque of the main rotor. In the Ka 52's design, two main rotors mounted on the same mass rotate in opposite directions. This system naturally balances torque and eliminates the need for a tail rotor. The operational benefits of this are striking, superior agility, the helicopter can turn around its axis extremely quickly high yaw rate, providing a critical advantage for rapidly switching targets and evading threats. Compact footprint. The absence of a tail rotor reduces the helicopter's physical size, allowing for more compact storage in hangars and on ships. This makes it an ideal naval helicopter for Russia's Mistral-class amphibious assault ships, though the sail was canceled and other naval vessels. Safety and stability. The lack of a tail rotor significantly reduces the risk of striking trees or obstacles during low altitude operations. Furthermore, the system provides exceptional flight stability, particularly in crosswinds. From single seat to two seat evolution, from Ka 50 to Ka 52, Kamov initially designed the single seat Ka 50 based on the radical idea that a highly capable pilot could manage both flight and weapon systems. However, the complexities of modern warfare, especially the workload during night-slash-adverse weather missions, question the practicality of this approach. The Ka-52, with its side-by-side two-seat cockpit, was born as a solution to this need. Interestingly, there is an estimated 85% commonality in parts between the two models, a smart engineering decision that reduces logistics and maintenance costs. The side-by-side -side cockpit and crew dynamics. In contrast to the tandem front and back configuration common in Western helicopters, the Ka-52's pilot and weapon systems officer WSO sit side by side. Defense experts assess the advantages and disadvantages of this layout as follows. Advantages, non-verbal communication hand signals. Pointing at instrument displays between the two crew members is easier. In cockpit task coordination is enhanced. Both crew members have an equal field of view outside. Disadvantages. The cockpit's cross-section is wider, increasing the helicopter's frontal profile and potentially raising the probability of being hit. It does not have the same ease of 0 ejection as in a tandem configuration, though the Ka-52 has its own unique ejection solution. Chapter 2. An in-depth look at technical systems. The Ka-52 is equipped not only with an unusual design, but also with a suite of state-of-the-art systems. Powertrain, two Klimov V, K2500, turboshaft engines, each producing approximately 2,400 shape, provide the power. These engines give the helicopter good performance at high altitudes and in hot conditions, hot and high. 
The engines are considered reliable and relatively easy to maintain, even if their base design is older. The most critical system is the complex transmission that directs power from the two engines to the coaxial rotor. The engineering of this system is at the heart of Kamov's design. Survivability systems, the Ka-52 is heavily armored, considering its high probability of encountering enemy fire. Armor, the cockpit is protected by titanium alloy plates designed to withstand hits from 23 mm rounds. The fuel tanks are self-sealing and filled with polyurethane foam. Ejection seats, the NPPs of SDK, 3, 7, 8, 0, 0, M, is one of the few ejection systems in the world for helicopters. When the ejection sequence is initiated, the rotor blades are first separated from the mast with explosive bolts. Then the cockpit canopy is jettisoned. And finally, the ejection seats are rocket propelled out. This system provides a chance of survival even at low altitude and zero airspeed. Active protection system, the L-370 Videpsk, or President S, is one of the most critical systems for the helicopter's survival. This integrated system includes L-3-7-0, 2-R, Laser Warning Receivers LWR, L-3-7-0, 1-U Missile Approach Warning Sensors MAUS, L-3-7-0-5, Infrared Jammers IRCMers IRCM, and when the system detects an incoming missile, it automatically deploys countermeasures chaff slash flare and alerts the pilot. Sensor fusion and avionics. The Ka-52's claim of being an all-weather platform is based on an advanced sensor package. Radar, the P, A, S, C, O, T, R, F, the slash N. One R-ballot dual band radar is integrated just above the rotor ORN. Null panned radar is integrated just above the rotor mast. This radar has both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes. It can detect moving ground targets MTI, moving target indicator, support terrain following flight, and identify aerial targets. However, it is assessed to have some limitations in range and resolution compared to Western counterparts. Electro-optical targeting system, the G, O, E, S, 4, 5, 1, Samshite, located under the nose in a rotating turret, houses a thermal imager, a CCD TV camera, a laser rangefinder slash designator, and an infrared camera. This system provides the pilot and WSO with target detection and identification capabilities at night and in adverse weather. However, experience in Ukraine has shown that the goes 451s target identification capacity, identification friend or foe, IFF and image quality at long ranges can be limited. This has sometimes led to target misidentification and civilian casualties. Cockpit. The cockpit features multiple color multifunction displays MFD to provide information to the crew. While not a fully glass cockpit, in the same way as some Western helicopters, the information presentation is effective. The helicopter is equipped with a data link system, allowing a lead. Ka-52 to share target data with other helicopters, Ka-52, Mi-28, Mi-24, and coordinate an attack group. Chapter 3, Weapon Systems and Operational Performance Analysis. The Ka-52's lethality is what makes it such a formidable threat on the battlefield. Its arsenal is broad enough to counter almost all potential land and light air threats. Automatic cannon, a 30mm, two, a 42 cannon in a movable mount on the starboard side is the helicopter's fixed weapon. This is the same reliable and powerful cannon used on the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. With 460 rounds of ammunition, it can neutralize light armored vehicles, fortifications, and personnel. Although the cannon's firing arc is limited, the helicopter's inherent agility compensates for this deficiency. Guided missile systems, 9K121, VKRA-12. This is the Ka-52 signature weapon. It is a laser-guided, supersonic anti-tank missile. With a range of 810 kilometers, it can engage enemy armor from outside the range of many short-range air defense systems. The missile features a tandem warhead capable of defeating modern tanks protected by ERA explosive reactive armor. The missile's most interesting feature is its laser beam riding guidance system. 
The helicopter projects a continuous laser curtain onto the target, and the missile flies within this laser field. This requires the helicopter to maintain the laser designation on the target man in the loop, but reduces the chance of the enemy receiving a missile launch warning since the missile itself has no seeker head. 9M120 Ataka 89, another powerful anti tank missile with a radio command guidance system. Isdali 305E LMR. This is the newest and most lethal weapon in the Ka 52's arsenal. The missile has a range exceeding 14.5 kilometers and carries a dual stage warhead. Its most revolutionary feature is its imaging infrared seeker and RF data link. After launch, the pilot slash WS O can operate in a man in the loop mode, seeing the missile's feed in the cockpit and reselecting the target at the last moment, or fire in a fire and forget mode. This allows the helicopter to launch missiles from behind cover, for example, a tree line or hill, without exposing itself, dramatically increasing its survivability. Other weapon systems, unguided rockets, S-880MM and the larger S-13130MM rocket pods are used for area suppression and against soft targets. Air-to-air -air missiles. For self-defense, it can carry R-73AA-11 Archer Infrared Guided Missiles or EGLA VSA-18 Grouse Amorfitini Kintraj Missile. Operational analysis in the context of the war in Ukraine. The CAF-52 has demonstrated both its power and its vulnerabilities in the conflict in Ukraine. Strengths CAF-52s equipped with the Elma-R missile have conducted long-range, high-precision strikes against Ukrainian armored vehicles, positions, and even small boats. They posed a serious threat to Ukrainian forces, especially in the early stages of the war when anti-tank missiles were scarce. The agility of the coaxial rotor provided some advantage in evading them. A, N, P, A, D, S vulnerabilities and losses. Open source intelligence projects, such as Oryx, have documented dozens of COP52 losses with verified imagery. The primary causes of losses are Modern M, A, N, P, A, D, S. Advanced infrared seeking ore missiles like Stinger, Starstreak, and particularly the Turkish made SAR guided Sunger have proven deadly to the COP52. The Vitebsk system has not always been effective in defeating these new generation missiles. Short range air defense S H O R A D systems like Gepard and Stormer HVM, artillery and mines, attacks on forward bases have destroyed helicopters on the ground. These losses have challenged the Ka 52's all weather survivability claim and forced Russian forces to adapt their tactics. Ka 52s now predominantly engage from standoff ranges, carefully remaining outside the engagement envelope of enemy air defenses. Chapter 4 Conclusion and Future Perspective The Kamovka 52 Alligator is a bold, innovative, and highly capable platform in helicopter design. Its coaxial rotor system provides it with unparalleled agility, while its powerful weaponry and increasingly sophisticated sensor sweet make it a game changer on the battlefield. With systems like the LMR missile, it is transformed into a deadly hunter employing shoot and scoop tactics. However, its real-world examination in Ukraine has proven that no technology is absolute. The Ka-52 can be vulnerable and suffer losses when faced with a dense and well-integrated air defense network. This is less a reflection of the platform itself and more a manifestation of the vulnerability of attack helicopters in general within a modern, high-threat environment. In the future, modernization efforts on the Ka-52 are expected to continue, focusing on sensor fusion, data link capabilities, and especially integration with unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. The Ka-52 will remain the backbone attack helicopter of the Russian Aerospace Forces and Navy for the foreseeable future, but its operational doctrine will have to continuously evolve to keep it out of the clutches of enemy air defenses. In conclusion, the Ka-52 is a machine worthy of study, both as a technical success story and a tactical cautionary tale, concretely representing the complexities, risks, and opportunities of the 21st century battlefield.